Hello, uh, my name is Andrei Smirnov. I am engineering lead at sideralabs.com and today I'm going to show you the demo of using CubeSpan in a home environment. CubeSpan is a new feature of Talos 013 which allows you to automate the creation of a full mesh wire guard network for your cluster which means that uh, cluster nodes can be located virtually anywhere network-wise and the communication between the nodes will be fully encrypted. So in this demo, I'm going to show you how I'm going to launch the cluster, part of which will be running in my home network and part will be running in the public cloud. Uh, the only limitation is that uh, there should be one-way connection from each node to another node, uh, but there is no requirement to have a two-way connection. Let's jump straight to the demo. Uh, first, a diagram of uh, the overall deployment. So I have my home environment on the left, uh, which is behind the home router, fully netted and firewalled from the public external network. I'm going to run the control plane as three Kimu VMs running on my build server behind yet another NAT and a bridge. So these Kimu VMs can talk to each other, of course, and uh, they can talk to the outside world. Uh, but nothing can reach it directly from my home network. Uh, neither, nothing can reach them from the public network. In my home network, there is also a Raspberry Pi uh, running, uh, which has a private IP address in my uh, home network. So Kimu VMs can talk to Raspberry Pi, but Raspberry Pi can't talk back directly to the Kimu VMs. And also in the AWS, I'm going to deploy a virtual machine on ARM64 using Graviton instance with the Talos image. That virtual machine will be running with the external Elastic IP attached to that so that nodes from my home network can talk to the VM, but VM of course can talk directly to uh, nodes in my home network. But with CubeSpan, there will be a fully encrypted two-way connections between each pair of the nodes. Moreover, I will have the control plane endpoint running on CubeSpan as well. It will be using the uh, virtual IP feature of Talos. So it will have uh, one of the VMs will claim the virtual IP and the traffic will be routed over the CubeSpan network to the control plane endpoint. Uh, as this is a Kubernetes cluster and uh, the worker, one worker is a Raspberry Pi, another worker is the AWS virtual machine, they all need to talk to the control plane even to join the cluster and to schedule any workloads and also the control plane will be able to talk to the workers as well over the CubeSpan. Also any pods launched on the nodes will be able to talk to each other over CubeSpan uh, so this completely enables the full mesh network of, with this hybrid cluster. So let's jump straight uh, to the action. So I already have my VMs, Raspberry Pi and AWS VM launched. They're launched with Talos 013. Uh, they don't have a configuration yet, so they're sitting in what we call a maintenance mode, waiting for the configuration to be submitted. So as the first step, I'm going to launch a small shell script to generate the actual machine configuration for my nodes. I'm doing some config patches related to the uh, actual uh, like hardware, for example, changing the install disk name or enabling, enabling the control plane endpoint. And also I'm doing um, some patches to enable the registry mirrors so I can cache the downloaded image. So first I'm going to uh, deliver the machine configuration to the first Kimo VM, which is going to be my first control plane node. Uh, I'm going to use the apply config command of 
hello CTL in insecure mode because it's running the maintenance mode. Now it doesn't have the real keys, but the actual configuration will be sent over TLS. Uh, I'm going to send it the control plane configuration. So my first VM got the config, so it's now booting. And I can do same for two other VMs I have. And now I can use the generated client configuration to talk to my VMs and see how they see the current cluster state. I can do the get members call. Uh, but before I do that, actually, I have the generated TELUS config, but I have to update the endpoints uh, to point to my uh, nodes here. So it's going to be the three IPs of my control plane VMs running on my build machine. So now I can do the get members, and you can see that my cluster currently consists of three members, which are uh, control plane nodes. They are all like Kimu VMs running on my build server, like I described before. And I'm going to bootstrap uh, the first node uh, so that it bootstraps the etcd cluster and the VMs are able to boot fully. While the my control plane is bootstrapping, I can send a machine configuration to my Raspberry Pi node. So I have the Raspberry Pi configuration prepared here, and I'm going to send it to my Raspberry Pi address so that it also starts booting. As soon as I submit the configuration, I can uh, launch the same common get members, and I can see that there is a new member now. That's my Raspberry Pi which is probably still booting and still joining the cluster. But while this is happening, I can also uh, send machine configuration to my AWS node. And while these get members comment is running in watch mode, it's going to show in real time as soon as Talos discovers a new member of the cluster. So let me uh, use this window below to send machine configuration to my AWS VM. And speaking about AWS VM, it has a public IP address, and uh, this might be considered a problem for the security, but actually I have a security group applied to this, this uh, VM. So this VM has one UDP port over CubeSpan, and another port which I uh, kept open just for the initial bootstrap to send the machine configuration to it because it's right now it's not part of the cluster until I send the uh, machine configuration. But once I'm done applying the config in the security group, I can leave only a single port, a single UDP port, which is actually a wire guard port. So I submitted the configuration to the AWS VM now, and I'm waiting for it to be uh, discovered as a member of the cluster. Let's give it a few. And uh, while it is booting, I can also uh, pull the cube config from, uh, from the cluster. And I can do kubectl get nodes to see if my control plane is up. Yeah, it is up, but uh, we can see that there are just three uh, Kimu VMs now, and Raspberry Pi and AWS hasn't joined yet. Let's see how it is going. And let's see what's happening with the Raspberry uh, Pi, for example. I can use TeleCTL to pull the D message of that node. Let's see if this is going to work so I can see what's going on with the boot. Okay, it seems that it's not ready yet and I need to see what's going on. Um, let's check the cube span peer status, which is information about the connectivity between the cluster peers. Uh, I forgot the word get. 
So I can see that uh, I'm looking at the first node, Kimu Master 1, and I uh, can see the information about the other peers of the CubeSpan network. Uh, one is my Raspberry Pi, which has a connection established. And another one is uh, uh, Kimu Master 2 and Kimu Master 3 are two other VMs. And we can see the endpoint being used for the connection. So uh, my Kimu VMs are attached to the same bridge, so they basically can use their own IPs and endpoints to connect to each other, while my Raspberry Pi uh, is using its own external uh, like endpoint, which can be they can like still talk to each other and establish a connection. But I wonder what's going on with my AWS instance though, because it should have booted by now, but it's not. You can see that the Raspberry Pi has joined the cluster. It's now ready and running. And it means that I can talk to it using the Talos CTL as well. Um, so it's still like booting up the CNI, but it's close to be ready. Uh, now the node is ready. So my cluster consists of like four nodes. And uh, let me pause the recording for a second and check what's going on with the AWS node. I'm not sure what happened to my first AWS VM, but I got another one provisioned and ready to go. And let's try to apply configuration to this one and see if this works. Uh, if this is, if it is going to join the cluster successfully. If not, uh, I might have to debug this further. But so far, it doesn't look like it's joining because I'm watching the uh, cluster members here and I don't see this uh, new VM appearing. But the, this happens during the live demo. So let me pause the recording for a second and try to understand what's going on. OK, uh, I'm back. I switched the AWS region, and now things seem to work. But there is something with AWS. I have no idea. It doesn't give me the console logs for the failed VMs. But anyways, ready to join another one. So while debugging this issue, I joined AWS VM to the cluster, and now I'm going to join another instance. So we're going to have two workers in AWS. So I'm going to apply my worker configuration to this VM. And you can see that as soon as it starts booting, it immediately registers itself uh, as a cluster member. And so now I have five cluster members, uh, not five, sorry, six cluster members. Three are control plane machines, and I have my Raspberry Pi and two AWS VMs. So if I do get members, you see like these machines pretty printed here. Um, so the, the first two are AWS machines, then my control plane and Raspberry Pi. So if I do kubectl get nodes, I should see, oh, I see all the nodes are now up. Uh, my control plane uh, and three of my workers. And note, this is not only cluster which spans different networks but also it's a cluster of mixed architectures. So my control plane is AMD64 and all my workers are actually ARM64, one Raspberry Pi and two AWS VMs. Uh, so what I can do as well, I can also show, look into the CubeSpan peer status to see how uh, my VMs established uh, a connection. Uh, so, for example, if I look at my Raspberry Pi, I can ask it to provide me with the cube span peer statuses. So I can see how Raspberry Pi connects to all the instances. You can see, for example, uh, when I look at the Raspberry Pi side, that's how it sees the connection coming from my Kimu VM because it goes out on the uh, build server. And... Uh, and gets netted, and that's the endpoint it sees. And this is, for example, my 
AWS VM, and in this case, the endpoint is a public IP address. That's the external IP attached to the VM. And once again, this VM has a security group. So basically what it allows is only the traffic over the wire guard port. So there's only encrypted communication going in and out. And at the same time, this VM uh, successfully joined the Kubernetes cluster. So it was able to talk to the uh, CubeSpan based control plane endpoint, which is powered by the virtual IP of this node. And this cluster is fully good to go. So it has all the pods are scheduled now. Uh, you can see they're all running, all the uh, CNI, everything is ready. So it's ready to for any workload. Uh, and my hybrid cluster powered by KubeSpan and Talos 013 is up and running. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out to us uh, using our website, Twitter, or just sending us an email. Thank you, and see you next time. Bye.